Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Commodity TV here at PDAC 2018 and we are now again in the media room and with me here is Stephen Cochrane, the CEO of Lithium Chile and yeah, we want to talk about Lithium of course and about Chile and about your lovely company, welcome. Well, thank you very much, uh, that's uh, great and appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, thanks for to you for taking the time. What's your company about? Where are you based? Lithium of course, you're, you're in the Lithium space, but what are you doing? And how well, was the company set up? Well, currently we're the uh, largest uh, single landholder of lithium prospects in Chile, mm -hmm. outside of the government. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a total uh, package now uh, of over 140,000 hectares uh, on 15 solars, mm -hmm. uh, all very prospective uh, targets for a lithium resource. Mm -hmm. Great. So you have set up the company last year, I think it was before that it was Kairos Capital, exactly, and then you put Lithium Chile on that, right? Correct. Uh, mm -hmm. The company was actually founded in 2011 uh, with initially six uh, copper gold prospects mm -hmm. uh, in Chile. Mm -hmm. And uh, in 2015, our VP Exploration, who's resided in Chile since 1991, mm -hmm. uh, started to look at lithium uh, prospects as the entire lithium market heated up. So in the last two and a half years, uh, he has staked. Uh, 140,000 hectares. Which is really big. <laughs> which is huge. And I think more importantly, our yeah. cost per hectare is $3. That's our essentially our staking wow. cost. And uh, last month, uh, 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 a hectare in number of hectares in Chile changed hands at 1,800 US per hectare. So, so I would say you made already money. Hats off to my VP, <laughs> Terry Walker. He's done a hell of a job. <laughs> Fantastic. Great. So what is cash in the company? Because you, your expiration, you have to drill. Are you financed for 2018? We are. Um, mm -hmm. And since August, we've raised now $10 million. Mm -hmm. uh, our, our war chest is full. Mm -hmm. Our geophysical program is just winding up on our top six priority uh, prospects. Mm -hmm. uh, we have identified some drill targets and we anticipate drilling by the middle of March. Ah, okay, so but that would be my next question. So the work program starts in March. Uh, how many meters you, you have planned or lined up, I would say? We've budgeted for 4,000 meters, mm -hmm. uh, six prospects, uh, somewhere between eight and 10 holes on each prospect. Mm -hmm. To what depth then? Uh, traditionally, the uh, producing horizons in Chile are between really 20 meters and mm -hmm. 100 meters. Okay. That's so where the aquifers uh, yeah. in Chile lie. So yeah. right now we're looking at somewhere between 50 and 100 meters mm -hmm. per hole. Mm -hmm. uh, if we do encounter and we're still in uh, lithium uh, mm -hmm. uh, aquifer, we will continue to drill deeper as Super. long as we're there. <laughs> I like that. So what are the drilling costs per meter then? Well, right now we're running about 125 uh, US per mm -hmm. meter. Mm -hmm. um, Chile, as you know, had a real slump since 2012 yeah. with the, uh, the, the the collapse in gold prices and, mm -hmm. and uh, recently though they've started to come back so we're happy to announce we have a couple of rigs contracted mm -hmm. and uh, we're anxious to get going. Super, when do you expect the first results? Uh, good question, um, again... Just a guess. Well, the drilling's fairly quick. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going through sands, of course, and uh, it takes anywhere from two to four days uh, to reach target. Oh, okay. So uh, suffice to say, we should yeah. know fairly quickly. Super, perfect. Um, let's have a look, at, let's say, a little bit on the infrastructure around your property. I mean, is it like in remote area or what, what, what does it look like? Well, again, the secret is um, my vice president of exploration, uh, Terry Walker. Uh, first of all, he identified uh, available claims, mm -hmm. but more importantly for Terry was the fact that they had to be accessible. Mm -hmm. So we have roads into all of our properties, uh, mm -hmm. paved roads mm -hmm. in most cases. Mm -hmm. uh, they had to be um, power and uh, other infrastructure. Mm -hmm. um, what you need. What we need. Yeah. Uh, and then lastly, he wanted to make sure that the land available uh, in these claims was of sufficient size mm -hmm. that, God willing, we discovered a resource, there'd mm -hmm. be enough land to build the evaporation ponds, mm -hmm. build the production facility. So okay. great infrastructure, great access, and more mm -hmm. importantly, we have sizable uh, claims that mm -hmm. will allow us uh, to go into production. Yeah. And of course, now you have only have to prove that there's enough lithium inside. Mark on wood. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So as you are talking already about production, so that means you really want to bring your salas, your property into production by yourself, if well, possible. Um, we're prepared to. Obviously, mm -hmm. if we 
hit something, mm -hmm. I think we'll have a lot of support going forward. I mm -hmm. uh, just returned from Chile with a group out of China. Mm -hmm. uh, they did a site visit because they're quite anxious for us to get going and show that we do have yeah. a, a potential resource there. So I think once we have made a discovery, I'm confident uh, we'll get the support we need. Super, perfect. Well. Stephen, thank you very much on that. That looks really promising. And I'm pretty sure we yeah, hear very soon from you some hopefully good results. Then. Absolutely. You'll be the first to know. <laughs> okay, lovely. <All> right. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Okay. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, there was Stephen Cochrane, the CEO of Litium Chile. And you heard that the company yeah, has 140,000 hectares claims now in Chile. And uh, the drills start to turn even this month because we have already March. So we look forward very fast to some, yeah, hopefully, then good results. And also, which is very important, as he uh, pointed it out already, the infrastructures there, they have a lot of paved roads there, it's all accessible and that's exactly what you need when you want to go in production later on. So I would say check out the company. Thanks for watching us. Bye bye from Thank PDAC you. Toronto. All right.